What up, dope homies and homets? It is your homeboy, Grand Tizzle, and we are back for more madness. That's right, we are back. I told y'all we was going to be back. Last session, I said I was going to do one tutorial every 30 days. I meant to say one tutorial every day for 30 days, but <laughs> that didn't work out too good because your homie Grand Tizzle will be too busy. Oh, let me show y'all something. Uh, this is something I'm, I'm going to be teaching you guys as well here. Uh, this is on the, the, the uh, product site. But look at this here. This is an effect called 3D Parallax. And you can put this effect on your web page. And I am going to be doing some tutorials showing you how to do that. And will won't it be great to be able to do these um, designs and then be able to offer your clients the ability to put them in 3D parallax form for their own web pages. So imagine an artist um, coming out with a mixtape, you do the album cover, and then you're like, hey, you know, for a couple of more bucks, you know, I can do this 3D, I can do your website and the 3D parallax thing for you. And don't worry if you don't know how to do websites, because doing WordPress websites is very simple. And I got a tutorial in here that comes along with the package that's been added to this. So not only do you get the flyer designs, you know, you get the uh, flyer tutorials, and but you also get the mixtape tutorials. And I'm gonna tell you something, flyers is slightly different from mixtapes. Mixtape have a whole totally different look and scheme and things like that. But imagine if you can be able to offer that to your friends, your clients, and your artists. How about yourself? Won't that be sweet? All right. So anywho, uh, I'm going to talk about that. Now, I'm over here today. This is another micro tutorial that I'm going to be doing for you guys. And this one is about rim lighting. Now, rim lighting, the reason why we use rim lighting is because it really adds drama to um to the images. I don't know if you can see that here. Let's let's click this and blow this up real quick. OK, um, but you see here, as you see here, don't move, don't move. He got the rim lighting around here. Now, originally, he don't really have that around him. But what it does is it adds drama. Now, some of them, he had rim lighting because I lit him like that. But this green, all of that, that's not uh, there. You know, that's not the real lighting. That's uh, additional lighting. And it, like, even with Rick Ross here, or the real original Rick Ross and Ricky Rose, uh, we got the rim light going on on them. So today, I'm going to show you how to put that on them if the images came to you flat like this actually that's a pretty good uh, a really good image but I got something I already pulled up higher <laughs> why why got to be a lady in a bikini cuz man it's all hip-hop all right so uh, anyway so I got some lights behind so it can reflect um, from behind and we're gonna show you how to do that now let's do what I generally typically like to do and that's adjust some levels put some color and some pigments on her and things like that and adjust this so that it kind of matches the background a little bit okay so uh, as you see I have made another layer copy here now let's go here and this is how we do the effect fam a lamb we go over to layer style we go over to layer style and uh, we select bevel and boss that's the trick now you see how all already added now a lot of people won't even think to use bevel and boss on something like an image you know a person but that's how we add the realm lighting so watch this before flat after dimension now we're going to do a few tweaks to make it even look even more real first thing i like to do so what right now we're going to keep our shading right here and we're going to keep our angle right there we can move that angle around but i kind of like the way the light is hitting on it as far as gloss contours, we would keep it like this. Now there's two of them. We can use that one that gets a little more rigid, but we're gonna stick, we're gonna keep it with a uh, gloss contour. The other thing we're gonna do is you see highlight mode. For the highlight mode, and this is the highlight mode, that's the highs, and that's the shadow mode, that's the darks. For the highlight mode, we're gonna go down here and change that to vivid light. Bam! And look what happened already. You see that? Now, what I like in particular here, we're gonna close that. We're gonna come back to that. What I like in particular is how vivid light wraps around certain things. It breaks it up. You, you see that? See how it's breaking it up? It's it's responding more to the different uh, layers of her hair, right? You see how it shines right here? It's highlighted, but you notice how it gradiates off into dark. 
See, that's how light really, really um, uh, responds to to people. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe we can zoom here. Uh, nah, it's too small. Uh, okay. Nope, I'm not finding this, so I'm not going to waste the time. But I just wanted to show you. Anyway, light responds like that to, to, uh, to humans. It's responding to her flesh the way, you know, realistically. So let's go back up to here. And what we're going to do here, check it out, check it out. Uh, we're going to uh, adjust to no no let's mess around with the sizes now everybody gonna have a different size and things like that I'm gonna move up the depth move up the size a little bit so it can be a little bit more light right and uh, I'm just gonna soften it maybe just a teeny okay that's kind of cool and uh, let's see uh, all right that's kind of cool Right, we got a realistic light uh, shining on her side. Now I mean, now you're wondering, okay, so what about this T? You can keep the shadow as is, or what I like to do, and you may, and, and this is where this layer here comes in at, but I think we may not even have to use that layer. I pull that layer in for other reasons. Anyway, um, what we do here is for shadow mode, we can go here. First of all, let's change the, let's change the shadow to this here because that's the light that's hitting on that side. So you see how that's working? We can change it to that, to blue, to a brighter blue. And I will probably want to saturate a little bit more, but I kind of like that. That's actually standing out on her skin a little more. So we're gonna turn it all the way up there. And then we're gonna change this mode to, um, let's see, color. Look at that. So now it really looks like the light is really shining on her. You see what I'm saying? So what we did was created an artificial light. Now we can turn it up, turn it down, and turn it up a little bit because we kind of want it dramatic. And uh, and that's pretty much it. Now you see your hand right here? This is where this other um, person come in at because I like to kind of remove it from her hands. But just for the sake of tutorial, we're going to keep it right there. Uh, it's not, we're not going to make it a big deal, right? And that's it, fam. That's pretty much how I add the lighting. Now we can go in here and we can probably do some more dramatic things like, uh, let's say, let's just get a, a fat brush and uh, let's choose a color here and let's go down. And you already know this. We've been through this tutorial. That's why the homie Grand Tizzle training school is good for you. Oh, that's supposed to blow up. Sorry, that's not blowing up, man. Hold on, let me pause this, figure out what's going on. All right, some type of glitch in the matrix. Okay, so check it out. So we'll put the little glow around here. And we'll put this glow right there. And, uh, and we put it on screen. Y'all already know how that works. And then we'll go get it darker and, you know, close it in, make it a little brighter, you know. Make it a little brighter, bring it in a little tighter. Oops, sorry. All right, and uh, that's pretty much it, fam. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep this brief as I can. But you know how homie Grant Tissel gets the it in. I can't keep nothing brief. Um, let's put this glow around her, around her head here. Yeah, that's nice. Now, um. That is pretty much how the effect works, right? And I'm gonna show you something. That the reason why I uh, why I get this this other layer. The reason why I, I create another layer is because let's say here, let's we're just gonna literally copy this layer mask. We're gonna copy that and we're gonna paste it here. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna kind of switch things up a little. We're gonna put the light source on this side. We're gonna put the highlight on this side. And um, based on uh, how we want to do it, uh, and um, maybe I want that more blue. And I want you to actually see the blue. Now, we're probably not going to get much cooperation because her hair is dark. And you really can't see the dark, you know what I mean? You can't see it because her hair is dark. So it's not reflecting the light the way it should. So maybe we adjust a few modes. So for example, maybe we will do a hard mix. Okay, no, that's not working. Uh, let's turn the opacity up a little. And uh, that overlay, let's see. 
there there we got something right there right there right there okay so I will probably stick with this linear light bring it down a little and and what I do is after I find that you know this is not exactly how I, I would want it but after I where I would find where I want the light to hit then I would uh, take the layer convert it down to lock that light in see and now what I can do is I only want the light to hit that area so I erase the other parts of her body and that is the primary reason why I have multiple uh, copies because if I want the light to show up somewhere else and not on these areas because I already got these areas taken care of you understand what I'm saying so right now I'm only leaving that and let me uh, add a few layers to add the depth back into it so now we got the blue we got the light you know lit up at blue and then we pull the, pull the rest of the body in and we got that going on all right so that's it for the day fam that is how you light and it could look a little better each Terrence what the heck actually I did that wrong oh I'm sorry I know what I did wrong you gotta go back over here fam you can change the depth and everything up boo all right tripping man Turn the vivid light back up, bro. Oh, man, I know what your problem is. You ain't had nothing to drink today. All right, that's it, fam. It's your homie, Grand Tizzle. Thank you for watching. And until the next time, I'll see you in a minute. I'll see you when I spin it. And and make, and make hold on, man. Let me make sure I get my shameless promotion on in here, man. Shameless promotion. Go over to todaysbeast.com slash Photoshop. Man, I'll put a link in the description below. Make sure y'all, you know, sign. I mean, um subscribe oh, i got a special running on it's going off at 47 dollars, man you know the madness continues and i got some gravy beautiful things going on all right man i don't waste your time thank y'all for watching see you in a minute see you on spinning pills niece bye boy anything is possible if you can think it you can do it the only limitation the only obstacle is your brain if you believe it you can achieve it if you don't you won't. It's just that simple. We at Red Media Art understands this, but we encourage you to do more than just learn. We at Red Media Art want to push you, inspire you, invoke you to shoot beyond what you believe is possible. We understand the true secrets of success, the way the mind works in learning environments, how the brain releases dopamine each time you learn something new, and how you can change your life simply by changing your mind and sticking to it. We not only train you in developing a skill, but we also train you in developing a mindset, helping you to become far beyond your own abilities. And